we start things off playing in the creek. Stream monitoring can provide a quick check on the health of the entire watershed since whatever happens on the land ends up in the water sooner or later. George Vahoviak, program director of Shavers Creek Environmental Center, takes us along to show us how the experts virtually use child's play to determine the health of a local stream. Pennsylvania boasts more miles of rivers and streams than almost any other state. Chances are you live near one that may also serve as your local water source. What environmental clues do you look for to find out if your local stream is healthy? The whole idea of the watershed assessment here is to get uh, people down to the water. We want to see what story this water can tell us, this water that's flowing in Shavers Creek here today. This would be a caddis fly. Caddis casing. Caddisfly larvae typically make uh, a little home for themselves either out of small pebbles and that's what we've got here or sometimes out of small pieces of twigs. Um, so that's a caddisfly larva, another sensitive and that's that's good to see. And this one's got three tails. Okay, three tails, three pair of legs, definitely puts it into one of the mayfly categories. Um, the one we have here probably looks most like this one right here. Um, again, another sensitive, saying that this water quality is fairly good here. This little flat guy kind of looks like, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a, a, a fingernail off somebody's pinky or something. It's just a kind of an oval shape, very flat. And comparing him to on the chart here, he's known as a water penny, cling tightly to the rocks and fairly easy to identify him. Water quality must be very high in order to find these kind of insects in this stream. Let's see if we can correlate that with uh, some water tests that we could do on the stream. Not all streams provide a healthy environment for aquatic life. In some parts of Pennsylvania, acid mine drainage lowers the stream water to 4.5 on the pH scale. This acid water will not support life. Fish eggs, amphibians, and invertebrates don't survive. How does Shavers Creek measure up? What I'm gonna do is uh, get a water sample here um, out of the Shavers Creek. And this water sample bottle, we'll fill it and rinse it once or twice. And then I'll take my final water sample here, which I'll use then to run a water test. This test just calls for me to fill this tube to the line. So I've got a known quantity of water sample. To that, I'm gonna add um, 10 drops of a wide range pH indicator. This will turn that water sample a color. And depending on that color then, that will tell us the pH of the water in this stream. Having placed the, uh, the water sample now in the colorimeter, I'm comparing the color of our sample to the various color panes on the colorimeter here. And it's uh, obviously between a 7.0 and an 8.0 on the scale. And so I, I would estimate the pH here of the water to be 7.5, uh, very close to neutral and a very, very acceptable pH for uh, stream water. Uh, that's a pH that I've, I'm happy to see in this stream. Up here, the stream is saying, I'm okay. Um, I'm still healthy. I've got all that is necessary to support life. I'm low in pollutants. And just look around where I'm at right here. I'm protected by a forest. Um, so I'm not being overheated by the sun. The banks are relatively veg vegetated, protected. Um, so I'm, I'm in a good, good situation here. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.